Hello children, today we will learn the second part in the chapter of life cycle of animals that is the life cycle of a butterfly. Ok children, let us summarize what we have learned previously. I hope you remember all that you have learned. Some animals lay eggs, they are hatched and the young ones are born. You can see in this picture here the, the egg of an ostrich, the egg of a hen and the egg of a hummingbird. And the other picture shows us that young ones are born from their mother's tummy. The examples are monkey, elephant and whale. Yes children, you have also learned the life cycle of a hen. The hen lays its eggs, sits on them to hatch them and chickens are born from these eggs. But do you know when a hen is hatching her eggs, she becomes very aggressive if anyone comes near her eggs. And this is the reason why. Yes, she is scared and she is filled with fear for the safety of her eggs. She attacks anyone who comes near her eggs. Aggressive means ready to attack when angry. In this slide you will notice that the chicks look similar to the hen and the kid looks similar to the mother goat. However, you will notice that a caterpillar looks completely different from the butterfly. You can notice the four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly. You may also notice that the young one grows into an adult animal which looks completely different. So these four stages of change in form in the life cycle of a butterfly is called metamorphosis. These four stages are the first stage egg laid by a plain tiger butterfly, the second stage a caterpillar or larva stage, the third stage the chrysalis or the pupa stage and finally the stage of an adult butterfly. We will now learn about the metamorphosis in a butterfly. Butterflies of various shapes and beautiful colors are part of our environment. They live their life among plants. As butterflies grow, they pass through four stages. These stages are egg, larva, pupa and adult stage that is called a butterfly. Now let us look at an example of a plain tiger butterfly. A female plain tiger butterfly lays its eggs on the milkweed that is a ruy leaf. In six to eight days the larva emerges from this egg and the larva of a butterfly is also called a caterpillar. The caterpillar coming out of an egg is so hungry that it continuously nibbles at the very leaf it is born on. This continuous eating leads to rapid growth in the size of the caterpillar. The caterpillar can't fit into its old skin so it sheds its old skin and a new one comes in its place. The caterpillar sheds its skin four times. This shedding of old skin to make way for a new skin is called molting. The stage from the larva to the pupa lasts for 10 to 12 days. During the last and final molt, the caterpillar weaves a covering around itself and hangs from a leaf or a stalk of a branch. This stage of growth is called 
the pupa stage. The pupa stage is also called a chrysalis. The chrysalis lasts for 11 or 12 days. And within the chrysalis, the caterpillar grows its legs, six legs and four wings. And in the end, it emerges out as a beautiful, attractive butterfly. So now children, you know how every butterfly passes from these four stages to grow into an adult beautiful butterfly. But do you know that each type of butterfly lays its eggs on a fixed particular plant? And the time the larva takes to emerge from the eggs is different for different types of butterflies? Yes, there is a great variety in caterpillars. Caterpillars come in different colors. Their body is long and some types of caterpillars are hairy. Children, have you noticed seeing some worms? In the grains? Yes, these worms are larva of insects in the grains. When you have opened a box of grain at home, you must have surely seen these insects. There can be insects in places like grain warehouses too, in a grocer's shop too, and also at our homes. A female insect lays its eggs in this grains. We cannot see them because these eggs are very small. They are tiny in size. But the warmth and air they get in the box helps these insects to grow from a larva to a moth. You must have noticed also when mummy buys vegetables, that's green leafy vegetables, you must have seen holes in them. Yes, the larva of insects eat up these vegetable leaves, making holes in, the, in them. So, now children, you have seen the whole four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly. It is the same in the moth too. But the only thing is that they look different.